Welcome to our deep dive into the world of TensorFlow and Keras. Today, we're tackling an important question that many developers encounter. What is the difference between Keras and TF.Keras in TensorFlow 1.1 and beyond? With TensorFlow 1.1 introducing support for the Keras API under tf.contrib.keras, it's crucial to understand which version you should choose if you're planning to use Keras with a TensorFlow backend. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the main difference between Keras and TF Keras. Keras is a standalone deep learning library, while TF.Keras is TensorFlow's implementation of the Keras API. When using TensorFlow 1.1 and later, you can access Keras through tf.contrib.keras. This integration allows you to leverage TensorFlow's features directly. Now, is tf.contrib.keras different from the standalone Keras? Yes, it includes TensorFlow-specific optimizations, which can enhance performance and compatibility. If you plan to use TensorFlow as your backend, using tf.keras is recommended. It ensures better integration and access to TensorFlow's advanced functionalities. In summary, while both Keras and tf.keras provide similar functionalities, tf.keras offers additional benefits when working with TensorFlow, making it the preferred choice. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. Francois Cholet recommends using tf.keras instead of keras. He notes that Theano and CNTK are no longer in development and they make up less than 4% of keras usage. The majority of users, over 96%, are better served with tf.keras, which many are already using. Keras development will now focus solely on tf.keras, and there are plans to create a standalone GitHub repository for tf.keras. This will make it easier for third-party contributors to get involved. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In TensorFlow 1.1 and later, Keras and tf.keras have different code bases. This means that pull requests do not need to be synced between the two. For API changes, you submit a pull request directly to the API specification. These changes will then be reflected across all code bases. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.